Hi, this is Bernie Goldbach. Let's talk about publishing and important digital literacy. You have to pay attention to the details to do it right. Publishing. Spreaker publishes our recording. Sophisticated. Start with your research. Do the preparation. Record. Use the app. Produce it on the handset. Post-produce it if you need to do some editing. Reimagine it by slicing up content and reissuing it. Publish the written content with lots of things added to the written form. Syndicate it. Push it out as a news feed. Track where it goes, where it's read, where it's listened to, and then archive your work. You might remember what we said before. Audio publishing is automatic. The written stuff is a little bit tedious. That's why we're going to explain how we do it here, how we break it down. The automatic. Red button. It's called the Spreaker Studio. Push it. It records. You tap the button. You cast your words. Written publishing can be pretty tedious, though. Tap the WordPress app. It'll write for you, but it's hard to type really good information in the crowded spaces where we interview people. You have to work at it. All good bloggers tell you, you have to work at writing to become a good writer, to become a good blogger. That's a fact. Inside information that we know after five years of doing it, we need one adult for every three teens to publish effectively. That's the only way everything stays on track. Previously, remember what we did. We remixed and we reissued some of the content that, that we recorded. Now, we're going to draft our blog posts beforehand so we have some outline to work with when it comes down to publishing. You set up a post category and you set up a, an outline for every major interview you're going to do. Do that and publishing becomes a lot easier. There's a basic workflow we use. We verify that the recordings are happening and that Spreaker is publishing. We take embed codes, small little pieces of web code from Spreaker, and we push that into our blogs. We snap selfies when we're publishing. We cross-check all these links and images and embeds before we go final. And then we look around to see, have we orphaned anything, forgotten some spoken content, or written too many drafts of the same thing? That's our basic workflow. Start with Spreaker, the app. Make sure it's publishing. If you have the Spreaker app itself, you'll see a little triangle in the upper right-hand corner of, your, of the show you're following. And in this case, you'll see the red shirts of the youth media team with new content. Very easy to monitor content inside your own show by using the Spreaker app. <music> Studio works well, generates a permalink. That's something you can click on. You copy it and then click on it in a browser and it takes you to the content you've created. There's also a direct download link that you can click on and it'll open up an MP3 file in your browser or on the phone or on the laptop you're using. Permalinks generated by the content server itself. Embed codes is a Another word for saying specialized web code, specialized letters and numbers, which generate a handsome looking player that allows someone to tap on the play button and play the show that's been recorded. You see an image that goes with the show and you see the content that's playing as you click on the link. You click on the play button. That embed code has to be put into the blog post you create. You simply copy the code from the Spreaker server and paste it in to the WordPress installation. Dead simple. Then WordPress generates a handsome looking Spreaker player for people to interact with. Folks are going to interact with things that sound interesting, titles that are compelling, keywords, hashtags in your title, make it interesting. 
Occasionally, you may want to offer a list of content people want to listen to. Ask a question in your title. Get people to click on the title to hear the answer. Create some intrigue, something interesting, some suspense in what you write in your title. We also like to snap selfies when we're publishing. It's important to capture the creative moment of publishing as it occurs because we're so used to taking pictures of people or events, not ourselves. Behind the scenes, lots of the images that we take on the iPads or the Android phones go up as Flickr permalinks. They go to Flickr, a content management system for photography, and they generate a link that can be used for other people to click on and see, as well as a slideshow that generates for every event that we attend. So you can see the image that's up into a public space ready to be shared. We recommend that all the students use their first names, all the authors use their first names. No need for a surname when we're working with a teenage group. You can take pride of authorship, and it also allows us to see who took the image or recorded the show, recorded the podcast. Use your first name so we can track what you've done. Also cite where you made the image, snap the image, where you created the audio. Use the event hashtag. In this case, Media Literacy Ireland. Now, the publishing workflow can be extensive. If you skip some of these steps, you may forget some of the impact that your written words and that your audio clips have. Start with an outline. Add your links. Add a second image to your blog post. Add a link to the person you interviewed or the company that you were listening to. Cross-check those links, make sure they work. Add an interesting title to your blog post. You might have started with an outline. You can change the title, but don't change the permalink. Write like you talk. It's so much easier to do your edits. Get your work reviewed by somebody. Publish your content. And then initial off your work on the worksheets that may be on a journal or on a whiteboard in the space where the production is happening. Drafting and editing and reviewing and publishing takes time. Up to half an hour to pull all this stuff together. So how do we break it down? Open up your outline. You can see an outline for a blog post that points back to what you're hearing right now, improving our online publishing. Four main topics, break it down, research it, plan it, and then use your creative media syllabus to guide the steps. Online publishing outline. Add your speaker code to the outline. Add your speaker code to the link. So you have speaker embed code and a link in the blog post. Spreaker itself creates these two pieces of information. They'll create the direct hyperlink and they'll create the embed code. Every audio clip has an individual hyperlink that can be clicked by a listener to allow each interview to be downloaded. You need to add a second image to every blog post you have. It should be manually uploaded to the WordPress blog. The second image automatically appears inside the Spreaker Media Player. It's called Cover Art that was attached to the MP3 file. You need to upload that second image to WordPress because that's the image that's pulled by all the news feeds. People like to see imagery for words that they read. You'll get greater listenership by having imagery attached to what you've written and what you've spoken. Images build an audience. People will come from Twitter images that are remixed and shared. Instagram stories are perhaps the most effective way of pushing an image to a listener. And many people will see slideshows, and stories. They'll see the images. They'll read the stories, not your blog posts. So it's so important to have the imagery ready to go, remixed and syndicated, in addition to the blog post itself. The two images you can see here, one of Vincent Kanan, the president of LIT, and the second image inside the speaker embed code. Two images critical to the blog post's success. Both images are picked up and seen in different ways. Now behind the scenes, we cheat with an app called Magisto. 
it takes the images from our gallery and then automatically makes it into a video clip that can be shared as an Instagram story. Majesto automatically creates videos suitable for stories on Instagram and Facebook and Flickr from the stills that have been captured during an event. Happens behind the scenes without our, without our intervention. You should link to an interviewee. So we're linking to LIT at the at Limerick IT. We're linking to lit.ie as well later in the blog post. If you have the Twitter handle or an Instagram handle or a URL of the company, use it in the blog post. Use the hyperlink. The person you interview will be very appreciative for that. Cross-check and make sure the links work. So if you click on Liam and Vincent spoke, you'll realize it opens up an MP3 file and plays on its own. Cross-check those links and make sure they do work as they're supposed to. Use an interesting blog title. Perhaps with the Minister of Education, you might say something like, how the minister plans to reform the leaving certificate. People would click on that to see what's going on there. If you write like you talk, you'll discover it takes a lot of the pain out of writing. It gets your ideas flowing. It makes your editing more intuitive. But get someone else to review your post as well. Second set of eyes will often correct things that you never know need some refinements. The workflow. 30 minutes to write and review a blog post. The more you can offload to the outline portion of your blog post, the faster that time compresses and the better result happens. Finally, you can publish your work. Bang! Inside of the WordPress app, you can see the chance to update. So you'll start with an outline and you'll add your content to it and finally you push the update button and it posts, tick it off then on the whiteboard or the journal. Make sure you initial off the work you've done. Dennis and Jack and Anna and Jack and Roshi and Amy and Kara. You should listen at the same time to the event that you're attending. You can find the event talked about on tweets and on Instagram content. And as you scroll through it, you'll see in this case of Failsha, people talking about entrepreneurship, they're talking about the president of Ireland. They're talking about the main guest speaker. They're talking about research before the fact, a research meet before the event, and other things which make the event really interesting. If you attend an event and can listen to the pulse of the event, you'll end up with a whole lot more relevant content and perhaps more interesting titles for the content you post. As a digital literate, as a con- creative person, You are going to make an impact when you publish. You're going to make an impact to the workflow and to your colleagues by finding stuff that's stuck in draft and revised or deleted. They're called the orphans, content that did not make it to final because maybe they were accidentally duplicated or content was started in more than one draft location. Find it. Fix it. In summary, here are the five main takeaways. Publishing. One. Verify Spreaker is publishing audio. 2. Embed Spreaker to blog posts. 3. Snap a selfie when publishing. 4. Cross-check links, images, and embeds. 5. Find orphaned content. Simple, isn't it? It'll take about a half an hour for every blog post unless you can accelerate the content with an outline beforehand and you're really smooth with your workflow. That's why there's two or three people working per interview. Different people can factor out different parts of the job and get it done. The big takeaway, you need to do this written content so people can find you. They can find what you're talking about. And those people, well, they're going to cite you as a trusted source. They may be from mainstream media. That's why you want to write it. So people can find you, in our case, the youth media team. Catch up with us at YMTFM. YMTFM. Listen to us as a podcast. Find us on Instagram, Flickr, and Twitter. Thanks for listening to How to Publish. Up next, how we syndicate. Bye for now.